ceremonies are being held in Armenia to mark the centenary of the start of mass killings of Armenians by Ottoman Turks. The presidents of France and Russia joined other leaders at the memorial for the victims on the outskirts of the capital, Yerevan. Armenia says up to 1.5 million people died, a figure disputed by Turkey. Turkey strongly objects to the use of the term genocide to describe the killings and the issue has soured relations between the nations. Turkey accepts that atrocities were committed but argues there was no systematic attempt to destroy the Christian Armenian people. Turkey says many innocent Muslim Turks also died in the turmoil of war. A memorial service will also be held in Turkey on Friday and its Prime Minister, Ahmed Davutoglu, has said the country will share the pain of Armenians. But he reiterated Turkey's stance that the killings were not genocide. Jump media player media player help out of media player. Press enter to return or tab to continue. Media caption, Fergal Keen recorded the voices of some of the remaining survivors of the Armenian massacre. Turkey is on Friday also hosting ceremonies to mark the 100th anniversary of the start of the Battle of Gallipoli. However, the actual fighting there began on April 25, and Armenian President Serzh Sargsyan has accused Turkey of trying to divert world attention from the Yerevan commemorations. Never again after a flower-laying ceremony in Yerevan, Mr. Sargsyan addressed the guests, saying, I am grateful to all those who are here to once again confirm your commitment to human values, to say that nothing is forgotten, that after 100 years we remember. Line, at the scene, BBC's Rehan Demitri in Yerevan, Forget Me Not, the purple Forget Me Not is the symbol of the centenary. It can be seen everywhere in Yerevan, from window shops and windscreen stickers, to lapel pins that many are proudly wearing. There is also a centenary slogan which reads I remember and demand. But what is it that the Armenians are demanding? I ask some of the people in Yerevan's Mashtits Avenue. We demand fairness from the world community, that's it, said Sergi Marta Rossian, but for me personally it won't make any difference. What we actually need in Armenia is for the government to take serious steps towards economic growth. I remember and demand, line, in his address, French President François Hollande said, we will never forget the tragedies that your people have endured. Russian President Vladimir Putin said, there cannot be any justification for mass murder of people. Today we mourn together with the Armenian people. Friday marks the 100th anniversary of the day the Ottoman Turkey authorities arrested several hundred Armenian intellectuals in Constantinople, today's Istanbul, most of whom were later killed. The BBC's Rehan Demitri in Yerevan says the Armenians regard this as the beginning of the Ottoman policy of mass extermination of Christian Armenians suspected of supporting Russia the Ottoman Empire's World War I enemy. Ceremonies at the Tsitsinikabert Memorial in Yerevan, April 24, the ceremonies were held at the Tsitsinikabert Memorial in Yerevan, François Hollande, April 24, France, represented by François Hollande, has been a strong advocate of recognizing the killings as genocide, U.S. President Barack Obama issued a carefully worded statement for the anniversary, referring to one of the worst atrocities of the 20th century without using the term genocide. During his 2008 presidential election campaign, then-Senator Obama had vowed to recognize the Armenian genocide and in his new statement said, I have consistently stated my own view of what occurred in 1915, and my view has not changed. However, his phrasing has angered Armenian Americans. Brian Arduni, executive director of the Armenian Assembly of America, said in his statement, President Obama's exercise in linguistic gymnastics on the Armenian genocide is unbecoming of the standard he himself set and that of a world leader today. President Vladimir Putin at the Tsitsinikabert Memorial in Yerevan, April 24, President Vladimir Putin also attended and addressed the guests, marched by Armenians in Jerusalem. April 23, 2015, Armenians around the world, like here in Jerusalem, insist the killings were genocide, German MPs are meanwhile debating a non-binding motion on the genocide issue, a day after President Joachim Gok used the word to describe the killings. This month, Turkey recalled its envoy to the Vatican after Pope Francis also used the word genocide in a reference during a mass. France has been a strong advocate of recognizing the killings as genocide and President Hollande has pushed for a law to punish genocide denial. In Turkey on Friday, the media largely focused on Gallipoli. 
but one of Turkey's oldest newspapers, Kumhuriyet, carried a surprise headline in Armenian Never Again. The wounds caused by the events which took place during the Ottoman Empire are still fresh. It is time to face up to this pain which paralyzes the human mind, the feeling of justice and the conscience, it said. Line, jump media player media player help out of media player. Press enter to return or tab to continue. Media caption, Armenia's mass killings, explained in 60 seconds, what happened in 1915. Hundreds of thousands of Armenians died in 1915 at the hands of the Ottoman Turks, whose empire was disintegrating. Many of the victims were civilians deported to barren desert regions where they died of starvation and thirst. Thousands also died in massacres. Armenia says up to 1.5 million people were killed. Turkey says the number of deaths was much smaller. Most non-Turkish scholars of the events regard them as genocide, as do more than 20 states, including France, Germany, Canada and Russia, and various international bodies including the European Parliament. Turkey rejects the term genocide, maintaining that many of the dead were killed in clashes during World War I, and that many ethnic Turks also suffered in the conflict.